Okay, so you remember that little shrine in the little painting by the foothill stable? That's where we are currently. It, it was just the closest place. Honestly, it was kind of an odd coincidence that I picked that one. I just picked it because it was just a shrine in that general direction at the time, but that ended up being the best point. Um, apparently, for whatever reason, that purple pointer was still there from when I was trying to navigate my way into Hyrule Castle. That didn't go away. I thought it did. So, now we know where we're going. We're heading towards there. I'm looking out for the stable that, like, I'm trying to find, r not realizing at the time that the stable I actually need to be at is just the Foothill Stable, the place that I've already been to. So I'm busy looking around for this other stable that doesn't exist, and it takes me a little bit to finally catch up and be like, oh shit, I, I'm, I'm right here, so I'm going to be exploring a little bit out of the way and not going straight to the tower because... I'm looking for it, because I'm a genius. That little Korok puzzle I did a moment ago with the Magnesis and the blocks, for whatever reason, it was kind of a bitch to get in. It just didn't want to stand in straight, so I was trying to mess with it for like a few minutes. I'm like, one of these days, you're gonna, you're gonna go in there. It was just kind of a lucky guess. Like, I didn't honestly know that it was the right place to put it. I was just trying to get it in there, and then I checked, and I was like, oh, it does go there. So why isn't it going in there? Um... There are some special birds that are like, spe uh, that are strictly on Death Mountain over here, and those are you know the big old things running around. And if you go ahead and kill them, you get special bird parts: the raw hole bird and the raw bird leg. Those are better than the little tiny drumsticks you find off of the cranes and other flying such birds. So, if you can, go ahead and get some of that stuff. I was having a quite the hard time climbing up this place. It was a bit of a nightmare because Link just wants to go part way and then he just gives up and then I fall all the way down the mountain, which I'm not even upset about. I just, I thought it was funny. I mean, I was a little bit upset because I'm like, Link, when I tell you to do something, I expect you to do it. Link just didn't fucking feel like doing anything I told him to do at that point. He was just being difficult. You try and tell him to stand on a flat surface and he just decides to start f sliding down. So that was pretty annoying. Now, the road to Elden Tower is completely safe, but if you do explore a little bit further, you will start to burn to death. So you gotta play it very carefully. I'm just trying to get the maps so this way I can figure out where the stable is. Wow, that was a bit of a difficult climb. Fell down twice. Didn't exactly learn my lesson, I suppose. But I had to come here first, because this will give me the area I actually need to find. You can see me kind of looking around for it a little bit. I couldn't find it, but there's something we need to get, so we're going to need to climb down the mountain first. Because there's only so much we can do here on Death Mountain. It's big and it's hot. Alright, so what you're supposed to do, and what the developers thought maybe everybody would do, is follow the path. So somewhere along this path is a stable. I need to follow the path. Where am I right now? I'm right here. So let's go, like, right here and work our... God, I hate this fucking thing. Down. Okay, so we're right here. I started wandering down this far, and then I was like, wait a minute. Isn't the place we need to be right here? And I think it is. If there's a character I'm looking for, though. Yeah. Is it you? You're probably headed to Goron City. Yeah, uh. I thought so. Hold on, buddy. Are you really headed to Goron City like that? Yep. See, this is how tourists get our bad rep. Place the clip. Yeah. Uh. Yes. That is the idea. Fireproof elixirs. We need those. That will help us get there. Mm. If you have that many, you should be able to make a guard city. No problem. Now, here's the problem. I actually have him. 
I am having is that I don't really have the money to get what I need that is in Goron City, so I'm gonna have to find a way to make some quick cash. Alright, so here's the moment I've finally been waiting for. We got ourselves some fireproof elixirs, we're into a nice hot place, and we can go ahead and show off this cool little ability. So what you can do, I'm only going to show it this once and then I cut it out, the rest of it. You can put any sort of meat on the floor, any food item in general, on the floor at Death Mountain, and it will actively cook and then just be like that. Now, this is good for th items that have no secondary effects, like, you know, a Hylian Shroom or an Apple, a Seared Steak. But you don't want to do something like a defense shroom because then it doesn't give you the defense up capabilities, it actually ruins it. So don't do it with any sort of special items, only the ones that serve no purpose other than healing. Then yeah, you can go ahead. Because by doing that, it infinitely stacks. Um, I probably should have been commentating the Ice Igneo Talus fight, but I don't know, I guess for whatever reason I was kind of out of it and just went all in on it. You can go ahead and use ice arrows to turn off the flames and then just go for it and just beat the hell out of them. Um, again, Sledgehammer's best idea. This place is littered with rock deposits. You will find myself like every few seconds I stop, I smash something, and then I'm getting a whole bunch of stones. Another great reason to go to Death Mountain. Stones, instant easy cooking, stuff like that. Um, we're going a little bit fast. I'm trying to keep up here. Where are we? Uh, okay, right over here, the Goron Mines. This is a spot you want to remember. Southern Mines, excuse me. Um, because there's fireproof lizards literally all over the place. Fireproof lizards are going to be used for upgrades, but it also used to turn into the fireproof elixirs. So if you ever want to grind off this place, you know, grind off fireproof lizards, this is going to be the spot you're going to want to know. That's why I placed the Traveler's Medallion down, so this way I can easily get here within an instant. Damn, I still feel like there's something else I should be talking about, but I've skipped over because of how quickly everything's going. Rock deposits, meat cooking, uh, Igneo Talus, just Death Mountain erupts. That was kind of unfortunate, but that's like the only spot really it erupts. Oh, we made it! Alright, so yeah, fireproof elixirs. The air is burning around you. I really love that. There's a lot of things I've probably already said in post commentary or want to say in post commentary. But while we got this stuff running for another 15 seconds, we want to find the armor shop like instantly. Uh. Admittedly, I was actually just gonna wait and do this area like the Divine Beast last. But considering we're right here right now, we might as well just go for it. It kind of doesn't make sense to just show up here and then be like, okay, bye, and then come back at the end of the game. So I think we'll just go ahead and do this guy first, since, again, we're right here anyway. So what we want is all of this stuff. The question is, how much does it cost? Okay, 2,000. I was thinking it was like 6,000 for whatever. Now, there's a dude down... Th oh, we just not finish that because I'm going to go ahead and say it in post commentary. I actively edit as I record. This should prevent you from burning to death. Now, against my better judgment, we're going to go ahead and sell some uh, gems. What am I doing? What am I... No, shut up. Of course you do. Um, this place is a minefield. 
literal minefield for gems. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but we've gotten a lot of gems so far. That's one of the primary reasons I say come here first. It's like, you, I don't really want to sell this stuff, but it's so easy to get so much of it. 900? Uh, that's not enough, though. What can I really make money off of? I've also been trying to take advantage of these guardian parts, too. Even if I give it all to him, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, it's technically not enough. We do have plenty of opal as well. There, we'll do that. Really, we shouldn't have, but... 20 times 3, I think that's just enough? Yep. This is what I cared about. And, uh, first thing that we're gonna do <coughs> is make sure to go ahead and get this shit upgraded, like, now. So... Excuse me while I uh, go to actually you know what here. Let me let me get the shrine up here first so we can get our shortcut, and then we'll go to the Great Fairy because I want to keep my Traveler's Medallion where it is. You can see I'm taking advantage of it. I'm actually using it now. It is convenient because you can just leave, come back. It's, it makes the exploring Death Mountain a lot easier. So this way it's like, oh no, I ran out of things. You can just put it down and then pick up where you left off instead of having to retrek through shit. I cannot find where I want to go. Let me go ahead and trade off sledgehammers, though, since this one's right here. No, I'm not talking to you. No. I, just, I only care about sledgehammer. I don't care about Goron right now. A lot of updraft. I would say that out of all of them, I do think this Divine Beast is the easiest. I was going to do the hardest one first, but again, because it kind of forced the cutscene on me, I feel like I don't really have a choice but to do it. Hello, friend. Let us go. Fire. Fire. Get, excuse me? Fire. Why does fire not do what I want? Fire. I'm just getting on all of my fucking nerves. Fire, damn it. Why doesn't that burn up? Wow, look, you solved it. Stone Smasher, that um, is good. Very, very good. But not what I want to take advantage of right now. Is there even... There's a secret. I'm pretty sure we've already gone over this, but uh, yeah. Give me that back. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything there, but whatever. Uh, let me use you. No, because I want to get rid of this. Oh no, there's another! Also, apparently, the guardians inside shrines have specific mucusic as well. And I have uh, been attentive enough to notice that I should probably talk a little bit more when doing those tests of strength. I've just been getting really into it when I'm doing it, so I'm not always thinking. That's kind of a sad fact. You just get really immersed in the game. The worst thing, though, is seeing that bit up top 
left where it says flame guard and it's like you feel like you're wasting your uh your doohickey because you're in here and it's not hot in here Step on the button. I'm gonna go just in case this is timed. It was timed. Alright, well, we did it. I was thinking that was the end, end, but. Uh, like, I thought walking up here was gonna lead to it, but I guess not. Um, isn't that just the smasher we said no to? No! Alright, well, it's a good thing we decided to doubt ourselves. Doubt is the reason that whenever I drink a soda, it never fizzes over on me. Because I'm always expecting it to. So I keep my hand very close and ready to the lid just in case. That's the smasher. Alright, so where are we going then? I always feel like, strangely, I know it's not, but this one feels like more complicated than a lot of the other ones. Just right here. It's just the, the layout, the setup of it is. Let's just cut the BS. Get that back. You're alright, Link. It doesn't matter. We're about to get a full heal in a minute here anyway. I was going to say, what did that accomplish? Technically, you could also step on the switch and just use stasis if you wanted to. You don't even have to do that. Just an idea. Like, I'm not entirely sure how many times they thought of using stasis when doing things. I feel like they probably did. The developers are typically smarter than us because <sighs> they know how the game works. Okay, so whether or not I even have what I need is, uh, I'm not sure. I should. This is the first upgrade, it's always the easiest. Well, if not, yeah. Alright, so here's that little secret. You know where I placed the travel medallion, the Goron Mines? That's the best place to get fireproof lizards. That's kind of a unanimous thing that everyone's going to say. Um, now I'm not going to show myself grinding it, but I will make sure that, like, you know, you are reminded. Here, let me go ahead and see what upgrade 2 is. Yeah, more fireproof lizards. We're going to need 9 plus 3. That's 12. 12 total. In order to get to the... Uh, second upgrade, which is what I want, because that'll give me the set bonus, which makes it absolutely positive that I will never catch fire regardless. I can stand on top of a campfire and I won't take damage, and that's what I want, in addition to the defense up. This was the armor that I never got past um, level 2, because it required the Smotherwing Butterfly, which I couldn't ever find, but um, apparently Beetle sells them at one of the stables. I think it was either the foothill or the one next to the foothill to the uh, east. So that was why I was saying that. Um, oh wow, yeah, I technically do have two diamond to do that. Um, I'm not sure if I want to though. Like, I like the idea of that, but I've got Midna's helmet, so I'm gonna wait just in case. But we need nine, so... Allow me to show you one more time. Because I hate when people make shitty walkthroughs. And I know I, I haven't exactly been focusing on that. Right here, Southern Mine, it's on the trail. You, It's kind of hard to miss. Just show up, mash A, pick up a rock, and then like 8 out of 10 times, there's a fireproof lizard underneath it. Just do that for a tiny bit, and you should get 10 lizards e easily.
and let us go ahead and upgrade this. As of this point, this is as much as we can get it done anyway. But, uh, yeah. It also hit me, uh, that <laughs> not having the defense up that I'm used to makes a difference. There's a bit of a difference between 24 armor and 15, and I'm like, oh, suddenly I'm taking damage. As for now, it's like the exact same, which again, I'd like to point out. Here, let me... The exact same... Well, that's... Damn it. It's not what I want. Eight. Eight. This will be eight. That is eight. That was kind of what I was trying to get on about earlier, you know? It's all the same. It kind of sucks like that, but, like... I don't know. There's hardly any instances where I'm finding myself where a piece of clothing isn't particularly useful. Unless it's the DLC stuff. Then it kind of can be sucky. Oh, it doesn't tell you. Well, I know it needs smothering butterflies. So I know that much. I'm trying to remember what the, uh... I mean, I got it marked on the map. I marked location of the Great Fairies. I know where one is off memory, which is the, uh... back corner of the map that I wanted to go check out after we're done. But I can't remember the fourth. I know the fourth is pretty close to, I think, a tower. Now we have fireproof times two, which I think actually I was wrong because I said um, that that would be like one point. That right there would only be 2.0. I think it actually is straight up three times attack because when you have things like, let's say, uh, the this, it would count as three on the little bar. So I do think it actually works like that, and I was mistaken. Anyway, I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, we could go over here, because technically this is where Hetsu is, so we can go ahead and finally get the upgrades. But I think we might as well just go ahead, go here, just do the Divine Beast shit, and knock it right out. There's a couple shrines we've missed along the way, but I didn't want to go around looking for them until we had the Firebreaker armor, because that makes life a lot easier. You, you're the friend I need. That blasted Rudania. Rudania is running wild recently. Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. I know, I got hit by one earlier. You see Rudania stomping around there on the mountain, which, um, this is like the one time where it's actually a corruption of a name, and it's Darunia, but the rest of them are pretty, like, on the nose, as to this one's at least a tiny bit subtle. Said a hundred years ago, it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then, this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's, because it's stopping us from doing business. Can't tell you how many times we use cannon to chase off that feat. But it always comes back. Yeah, got some back pain. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I see. So you came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like you already, brother. Yeah, you know it. Well, my name's Bluto. I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child or to make a silenced child cry either way. I like that. Yes, it is none other than I, Bluto. I was planning on to dive, drive off for Duania like I always do, but then this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. That blasted, you know, uh... Yeah, you know, Bo, when will he return? Now, was young Goron who helps me drive off Rudonia. He wants to grab some painkillers from my back of the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. I bet he's off somewhere, wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see you, Noble, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Yeah, sure. Now, does this give me a marker? Alright, good. We will do the traveling, then. Alright, I remembered in particular what it was I wanted to say. Um, one of the things I really, really love about Death Mountain in this game is the sentence, the air around you is burning, and then you instantly start taking damage. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, Death Mountain feels like a much bigger deal in this game than it does in something like Ocarina of Time or Twilight Princess. So, in that result, I really, really like it, because it feels like a dangerous, deadly place. Right down here is where I'm actually supposed to be, but I'm an idiot, don't pay attention, I just walk right past and keep exploring. 
These little Octoroks that suck things up, they're my favorites because they're so easy to kill. And yes, as you see, monster parts do start smoking, so if you're not quick enough, they will burn up and just disappear. They do not turn into anything special. There's these minecarts, which apparently are operated by bombs. I didn't know that. I always did stasis and then just hit them a bunch. But bombs are apparently a much safer way to work them, so there's your suggestion if you didn't know that, because I didn't know that. Apparently I was supposed to talk to you. What's going on today? So many people out and about. You should know it gets much better past it. Yeah, it gets much better past here. Well, it's monsters. It's really dirty. Interest. You know, you know, boo. It's a stranger like you asking. No. Boss does well. I guess better tell you where he is. Ah. Went to the vault to fetch some painkillers, but now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. I wouldn't bother looking for him because I don't like him. This place is dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. So, they call me Drac. Ever since Rudonia showed up, there's been a ton of lava. Way too hot now. There are more monsters around, too. Boss keeps watch over this area. Only do so much. I don't care anymore. Alright, we got a lot to say at a quicker pace than I'm able to keep up with. So, those little Octorok things that we were just fighting a moment ago, they have a secret power in that if you happen to drop any sort of rusty item near them and they suck it up, they will spit it right back out at you, but it will be fully healed. So instead of it being like a rusty halberd, it'll just be like a knight's halberd. Rusty shield, knight shield, shit like that. So it actually fixes stuff like that, which I think is super, super cool. I think another thing I want to talk about with the cooking was, you know, by dropping the meat down and stuff like that, you have yourself an infinite stack because you have limited meal inventory as where you don't have that with if you can have a stackable item and that's much preferred opposed to like having a bunch of cooked dishes which take up a spot you can have it stacked so that's really good. I'm taking advantage of the ice as much as I can by trying to one shot these red lasolfos. It kind of does a little bit more hurt than help sometimes but that's the idea that I'm going for. There's a shrine somewhere around there. I noticed treasure around there as well too. There's a lot going on. It's just so easy to get that ADHD feeling. But um, what we really care about and what the game wants us to do is right here with this cannon. There's a few of these cannons lying around, but I haven't been messing with them just because I don't remember which ones I actually can mess with and which ones I gotta wait until later to mess with. So that's why I'm just leaving them be for the most part. But this one's kind of a... Uh, you don't got a choice but to mess with it. So, my friend, how's it going? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? Now, I'm gonna complain about these guys because they add in a bunch of new characters making you feel like they're super important but they're not. And that's kind of a thing that really lets me down, is like... They don't get a chance to be cared about or serve any real purpose. He does a tiny bit, but these characters don't get the spotlight enough to really make you care about them. Now that I've gotten a good look... Whoa, it's a Hylian. No, I'm actually just an oven. I look like an oven. Were you the one who broke through that crag to rescue me? Goro. Thanks, brother. I brought you all the way here out to begin with. Oh, so that's it. Boss told you come find me. Thank goodness. In any case, I'm sure glad you saved me, Goro. Names you Yunobu, you know, everyone calls me Yunobu. Know, Makes sense. Came to get some painkillers for boss, but magma bomb caused a rock slide, sealing the entrance. By the way, how did you break those rocks? 
That thing is difficult to use. I thought only Boss could handle it. It's not rocket science. Sorry, gotta run. But do come by and see Boss, okay? He may be gruff, but he's always repays the favor. I'll make sure there's a reward for you. I also find it incredibly awkward the way that they're proportioned. So like his hands are bigger than his head and he's got like teeny tiny feet and it just looks really awkward and Link is stuck because he's an idiot. 